What's up, everybody? I'm Big Mike. And I'm Brando, baby. And I'm Clint. And this is Brewheads. You're yeah, damn, damn right. right. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! All right. So uh, today we got some trolls. Yeah, damn right we do. We well, got. What was the last one we had from that? We've only had uh, one. Nimble Giant. Nimble, Nimble Giant. Giant. Which, That's, we which like was that? which was like kind of a, a mix it. between a West Coast and New England style. Yep. I think it I did, brought that one. It, yeah, I mean, it didn't really hit our palate too well, but now we got Troganator. Ooh. Trogue's Independent Brewing. Brewing. Sorry. Troganator Double Bock Beer. I love no, double box. He does love his box. Oh, you love my a single God. box. God. Oh. Give All me right. the box. I'm going to give you the 8.2% horsepower, 25% torque. Hops. Magnum German Northern Brewer. Words, huh? Nice. Um, color, bronze, and in this bad boy. Uh, Is that a little story? That I don't know. I don't read yeah, it. No, yeah, 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 yeah. All yeah. uh, right. That's Monks good. had fasting. Figured out. No food, no problem. Just drink a double bock. You're damn right. Ooh, yeah. Thick and chewy with intense notes of caramel, chocolate, and dried stone fruit. Nader as we call him, serves as a tribute to this liquid bread style. All right, I'm getting, I'm getting a little excited. Yeah. I'm getting a little excited. Yeah, I got the, I got the twingies, twingies, twingies. Ooh. Like, I, I, have, I don't know. Hold on, have you had this already? No. No, I have not had the Troganator. Right. Pop that top. Nope. I'm getting excited. Pop that top. No. Oh, it wants to just, look at that. Yeah. It wants to escape. Escape. Oh, we're in stout season, but you know what? A hey, double box count for the winner. I gotta tell you, this I, nice, I, I, beautiful. I love my amber. box. I'm a double box. While he pours that, make sure you check out all our social media, especially them grams popping. All right, let's look at that color. Ooh, ooh, nice ember. Ooh, huh? Amber. I said it. Nice amber color in did, there. Did it was bronze? I wouldn't say this is bronze, but anyway. No, no, this is definitely more, you know what, it might be the light. It might be our lighting. Hold on, hold on. Let me get the, I mean, I, I, no, I, that's got more yeah. like a copper. Yeah. This one got like more like, a a, sexy I feel like copper. it has like a red ale kind of Yeah. Look. And I'm all about red ales, man. All right, what we got for smell? It smells Ooh, like a bot. Malty hop. Yep, got that malty. malty almost lagerish. It does, I was going to. Yeah, I'm gonna go lager. Yeah, it's almost got that lager. But box usually do. Box will usually have like yeah. a, a, the same scent, like a lager. Oh, Just maltier. Yeah. Maltier. Yeah. Are we keeping you up? Yeah, you kind of are, <laughs> man. Are we? Clint's all about the taste yeah. and the horsepower. 8.2% horsepower. I mean, it's in your wheelhouse, buddy. Yeah, it's in there. Yeah, it's in the wheelhouse. Oh yeah, it's in there. You ready? All right, let's go. Sip it. Caramel. Caramel. Malt, malty. Malty. Malty caramel. Caramel. That's good. That's a double box you know with what? an intense this is, malt forward. This is not a typical flavor you get from a box. It's a At little least cidery. Yeah. Yeah. Cidery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cidery. Ha what? Hashtag cider. Cider shock. Cider shock. <laughs> what? Cider. Cider shock. You know, cider cider shock. Like cider I shock. will say, shatter shock sounds like a superhero. Actually, yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I can't lie. It's pretty goddamn good. No, it is good. Really smooth. This is. Do we? It is really. You know, smooth. I always forget to add like that hashtag. I'll add it in the video, but I always forget to add it down the bottom. <laughs> always. Yeah, this is a uh, shatter shack. Be a nice, I mean, nice caramel. Very note. smooth. It is smooth. I mean, for you would not think it was above eight. No, I, I it doesn't have like a alcohol. But then again, we just went through like a shit ton of stuff. Uh, like eleven <laughs> ten or tens. <laughs> yeah, tens. I gotta tell you, this is also one dare I say dangerous, where it is so smooth. It's easy drinking. That you don't you don't know. It's, did I say eight five or eight two? Eight two, right? Eight two. Yeah. That you don't know that eight. Yeah, I mean this 8. is eight point two percent horsepower, baby. I won't say you this is know. probably the smoothest bock I've had, it's, just because yeah. it's it's got a, like a 
almost like the spice, the to cidery it? side of yeah. it. Yeah, but even that cidery, like it's, it kind of holds you back from guzzling it down. Yeah, it, yeah. this is a sipping beer. I yeah, feel like. I, I, you know, I, I, you know what? I feel like this is a good thing to discuss real quick. Um, I, I, you know, hop on board if you guys feel along. There, to me, three parts of a beer, while while drinking, and all flavor. Wise. Okay. Um, you basically not talking aroma. Not talking aroma. Yeah, just Three parts of the beer yeah. during the flavor. There's always the beginning, middle, and the end. Mm-hmm. You know, and I, I actually like thirty three point three 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 because there's always that leftover. You, you know, yeah. that, that extra. Yeah. Um, this, I want to say, this is like the right on the cusp of middle going into stage three is where it gets sharp. The, like sharp esque where yeah, the cidery yeah, yeah. feeling yeah. kind of comes in the, right before you get to the hang exactly it, it, it that's the that flavor right before you get to the yeah. hang is getting a little cidery and it kind of slows you down from immediately right going back to get Cause, more because the initial taste when it hits the taste but you're like you can you can keep going and then once it starts to enter stage three you're all like i right, bring it back bring it back <laughs> i feel like this is one of those ones where you you're in a race car and you don't give a shit if you win or lose, you're gonna finish the race. And this, the ending flavor, takes you across that finish line. You don't care if it's 24 seconds or less. For those 24 seconds, you're free. Focus. You know what I'm saying? Focus. For real. <laughs> yeah. For real. SC. This got is, the power windows. Yeah. <laughs> Only in the front. Cassette <laughs> <laughs> no <Set> player. Yeah. <laughs> Cassettes? What are those? Yeah, right. <laughs> but like, no, this is good. You know what? I gotta say, I, I honestly have to say this is better than the Nimble Giant. Yep. And you know what? The Nimble Giant, it's probably, I, I would not say that would probably be the first beer I would drink if I wanted to, or offer it to someone if I want to introduce them to a brewery. Because that one had a particular flavor profile. Yeah. It was where very, it was either a love it or hate it. It was a specific niche. Yeah. This. this is a little bit more wide range, but yeah. but it did not stop me from wanting to have more. Absolutely, from Trogues. Yep. You you can taste, as you can see, the creativity yeah. behind it. This right here is something that if I wanted to introduce someone to Trogues, this is definitely something that I would say, hey, try this. What do you give for a rating? Excuse me. Whew. I'm gonna give this a three seven five. Really good Bach. As you guys know, I love my box. Kind of have a little bit of a high standard for box. This for me, it's a three seven five, just because it is different from all the box it that I've had. Very different. Very different flavor profile, and I enjoy the creativity of not just having just your standard Bach double Bach. Um, it's n nothing like I've had before. I'm gonna go with a four on this. I love your malt backbone. To me, the cidery aspect doesn't kick in until way after a nice hang, and I get a little, little cidery. What, sta what stage would you say? Stage one, stage two, stage three. Would you say that? Stage cider? three, the cider, yeah. cidery kicks in. But the one, the stage one and two, that yeah, malt stage, is just yeah. like yo. Yeah, I'm right with there with you. Oh. That malt flavor is really, really good. We got some malt, baby. If we were doing a drinking contest, and every time we said malt, you had to drink, you'd be drunk. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you would uh, definitely be drank. Trunk. All right, Clinton. What you got? What you got? This is a tough one, honestly. Um, I don't mind the cidery aspect of it. It's 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 different. Mm -hmm. It's I wasn't expecting it. Um, the malt is not overpowering. This is like ideally. This is probably the max level of malt I would like in a beer. Um, anything more than that, I feel is unnecessary. Kind of. The more malt, I feel like it's harder for other flavors to come through. Malt is a little overpowering. Yeah. So I, I, I actually think that you could actually do more, with, like more with this beer with that level of malt. You you have options. I feel like change it up a little bit. Exactly. Throw a little cherry in there, chocolate. I, yeah, I think that. I again, that that's a great example. Throw a little cherry in there and chocolate Ooh, in there. You had me a chocolate. Chocolate cherry. Oh. Chocolate cherry bock. I miss it. Um, I, it's a great base, easy drinking. Like I said, I, I'm more of a sipper when it comes to beer. 
Um, I, I mean, I, I, would, I prefer my beer to last me instead of, like, just guzzling it down. So I, I respect this beer in that aspect. But uh, I'm going to go three, three and a half on this. Um, again, I absolutely want to try more from them. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, three and a half. Good job, guys. Awesome job. You guys made me want to go to Pennsylvania. Yeah. So that's our thoughts on Trogues. Troganator. And uh, if you had it, let us know in the comments. Uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, hit that notification bell because we are three X male models kicking ass up here in cold ass Connecticut. Yeah. Or down, depending, depending on where, where you, you are. are. And as always, drink responsibly, stay wildly. Trogues this shit up. Catch you on the next one.